Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner, available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. Now, in this episode, I have to go back and I have to uh, right a wrong. I have to fill a void. I have to record an episode for something that I thought that had already recorded an episode about. And in fact, in the uh, recent episode that aired on a source location, you'll have seen that I have mentioned this feature but I didn't actually describe it at all, and I haven't done that yet. And I realize that I have done this in classes that I teach on ConstExper and compile time programming, but I haven't ever done it on C++ Weekly. So what we have here today is ConstEval. Now ConstEval is a new keyword that was added in C++ 20, and quite simply, it means that this function must be called in a compile time context. It's like constexper, has all the same rules as constexper, but it's a little bit more restrictive and to when it can be called. So this compiled, I made this function constevel and I passed in some value three to it and I see that main is returning six. Now let's go ahead and make this available as argc here. Now if I pass argc into this, I'm gonna get a compile time error because argc is not a constant expression. So this is a function that has to be evaluated at compile time. And we saw that in source location, and it makes sense. You can't ask for the location in your current source file at runtime. That doesn't make sense. Asking for it at compile time, that makes perfect sense. So that is, as far as I know, the only location in the C++ standard where constevel is actually used. Now to clarify, if I make this const expression, then I can do this at compile time or runtime with compile time known values or runtime known values. If I make it const eval, this is also known as an immediate function because, well, I guess it's immediately evaluated. And I pass in three again here. Now this value uh, is interesting because this is a mutable value. I can do something like this on here and that's going to work. But I can make this const expr, which implies const, or not const expr, or const, or however you would wanna do it here. But the point is that the input parameters must be known at compile time. And um, where would you find using this besides source location? There's definitely other places that I found, like if you want to, require that a compile time known const character string literal is what you've received. For example, uh, that would be one place to use const eval. Or um, if it's some correctness guarantee in the code that you're doing and you want to say, no, 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 for performance reasons or whatever, or for our use case and our code base, this absolutely must be evaluated at compile time, you can use const eval to enforce that. So yeah, it's a pretty straightforward thing. The important thing is having the imagination to see when this is a good use case for constevel and when this would help you get the kind of guarantees that you need in your code for whatever kind of correctness or compile time or runtime guarantees you're looking for. So yeah, thanks for watching this very short episode of C++ Weekly. And I don't know how I missed this. It may have gotten mentioned briefly in some other episode, but here you go, an episode dedicated just to constevel.